Musty, look at the weather. Oh, why? This is annoying. This is what I'm talking about. This is what happens when you're living in London. Just look at it. I mean, I love the rain, but... You know what we need to do? Welcome to Puerto Rico and San Juan. So many stuff to show you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. glad I was fully prepared with my own packed lunch and my own water if you go if you're going on the, the Norris airline yeah Norris airline just remember they don't give you no food if you're going on a long journey like within I would say six seven eight hours they don't even give you a bottle of water or a cup at least you gotta pay for everything it's like the Ryanair so all I can say is if you're going on the, those um, cheap flights on a really really long journey bring your own stuff the one one thing that i was shocked about when you're watching a movie on the on those screens you gotta pay for your own headphones six dollars for headphones six dollars for blankets their teeth bring your own stuff unless you don't mind splashing money on top so i've just reached to puerto rico from boston on the spirit line the crazy the crazy thing about this place um as soon as we left the aeroplane went to the airport there was no security checks nothing at all we just went straight downstairs got here and literally exit straight out here no stamps nothing I, I was not expecting this as soon as you come out you get a huge heat wave just hit your face and the good thing is you can use uber uh, taxi. yeah taxi yep yeah. uh, thank you Wow, it's proper Caribbean heat here. So the guy said to me, uh, don't be showing your phone around here because this place is, is a bit dangerous. I mean, what, San Juan? But I'm not sure what part of San Juan I'm at. We just got a, a BMB here. We're gonna go check inside. It's what, four in the morning right now? Go access to the top of the stairs and then we go. Okay, you can't see nothing, it's pitch black lights. Our Airbnb for the next four hours. Are you tired? Oh, yes, you are. Guys, we're exhausted. We've been up for 24 hours and we're going to call it a night. Good morning, everyone. I had a three hour nap, sleep, whatever you want to call it. I couldn't show you, I couldn't take you for a tour, but now I'm gonna take you in here for a tour. So we are, we've um, hired a, a BMB. It's like a small, really small room. Um, they're kind of compacted with everything here. So this is the bathroom. Uh, you've got the little shower in here. Interesting little um, gadget, gadget at the top here. On here you have uh, the kitchen. You've got a lovely single stove and a single sink. And straight here is the bed. Don't watch the mess. It's cost around £45 and this is off season. Oh, this ain't no joke. This heat is solid. I looked at the weather cast um, from 9 o'clock. It was um, 31 degrees and it's going to be 32, 33. Puerto Rico has a tropical climate where all year round it's going to be really warm. Hurricane season, I was told, is between. Uh, well, around June to November. So yeah, it's October, well, it's, it's September now. And this right here looks like an old fashioned McDonald's. Always 99. I'm guessing that's a, yeah, potentially a pound shop. As you can see, it's quite empty. Hardly anyone's around because it's off season. Got a lot of lovely people around here. Really lovely.
Yeah, there's hardly anybody around. This is definitely ends, aka the the barrio. We're definitely getting close to the beach. Holy, holy moly! This is more and more. straight past the beach and this place is called Condado I've noticed a lot of all of these cars they don't have license plate numbers on the front of their car Hola. Hola, amigo. Hola. <laughs> everything here is really Americanized as this is um US ter territory well, let's, let's go in there then yeah. check it out so you only look at the prices here there's none literally there's no prices at all you just, just pick what you want and then they're surprised with the prices. I don't know why they don't put prices up. It's probably a sales tactic. Peanut butter, acai. In this beauty right here, it's got spinach, apple, cucumber, celery, lime, ginger, pineapple, banana, wheatgrass, agave. Yeah. And it looks like it's got coconut. It's light, not strong. Really cold, good for the weather. You has got granola. My one's better. Acai. Uh, yes. We're walking around try to buy a SIM card. Went to one shop. They offered us a like a SIM card. Now that cost £29 for a month. I was like, okay, okay, interesting. And then he popped up with if you get the if you get the like a SIM card, it's £15 to get the SIM card. And then after that, the activation, $15. $15 for the SIM card, $15 for activation, and $29 to bloody get the monthly. Teeth, 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 teeth. There's a lot of um, chickens around. I thought they were pigeons. I don't know if I'm seeing a lot of pigeons or chickens. Let's confirm this together. Pigeons, right? Yep. Is that a huge pigeon or is that a hybrid? What are you? I look so weird walking in my backpack. I need to cool down. Dollars, okay. Todo con coco? Yeah, it's it's coconut wine, it's coconut almonds, coconut guava, um, pineapple, pistachio, and ginger. Pistachio, okay. Pistachio. Okay. Pistachio. Okay. Pistachio. Okay. 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 I don't know how to translate it. I don't know, I don't know. He said like he said anus, but I don't know. No. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's try this. Um, it's called coconut candy. In Jamaica, they call it coconut drops. So we have to use it for? Fortaleza sweets. Exactly what she said. Look at that. Take it for a super quick tour. to go indoors to change my top could not stop sweating pastel colored buildings all the way to the end with the old old school type of cars obviously Puerto Rico everyone speaks Spanish and you get some people or I'd say half of the people in this country um, speaks English or understands Bit of a tackle, but you get there. I would say just learn some Spanish. The buildings are just so neat, well painted, well taken care of. You don't see no rubbish on the ground. 
it's like really maintained well preserved this town is one of the best and well preserved towns in the caribbean yeah, this old, old town Get all down here. Is this the favela? <laughs> is, is, this, is this where they play the Despacito? No. It is. This is definitely the ghetto. This is definitely the hood. This is the hood, yeah. Down there? Yeah, all that area. That's the colorful houses that you see from the pictures. So, this is supposed to be the dangerous spot. I want to go there. Let's go. Um. Let's have a look. So from what I've gathered, check this out. The old town here. Nice buildings, all well preserved, all taken, maintained. And then on this side here, I think it's the ghetto. You can see the broken roofs. Bit of um rough painting on the walls or you can call it graffiti I want to go there I think this 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 part here is supposed to be the dangerous area in um, San Juan or Puerto Rico in San Juan okay yeah we're gonna go to the dangerous but this is walking around apparently they said I can't have my phone out so I'm gonna um, low-key record a few things if I get my phone taken then you know what happened 